the Christmas story actually is a Palestinian story par excellence. It talks about a family in Nazareth, in the north of Palestine, that is ordered by an imperial decree of the Romans to evacuate to Bethlehem, to go there and register. And this is exactly what our people in Gaza has been experiencing these 75 days. Uh, it talks about uh, Mary, the pregnant woman, uh, on the run, uh, exactly like 50,000 uh, women uh, in Gaza who are actually displaced. Uh, Jesus was born actually as a refugee. There was no place at the end for him to be born. So he was put uh, in a manger. And this is exactly what also the kids uh, that are coming to life these days in, in Gaza are experiencing. You know, uh, most of the hospitals are uh, damaged, uh, out of service. Um, and so uh, uh, there is no delivery places for all of these pregnant uh, women in Gaza. Uh, and then you have the, the bloodthirsty Herod that uh, ordered to kill the kids in Bethlehem to stay in power. Uh, and in Gaza, over 8,000 kids, they have been murdered uh, for Netanyahu to stay in power. Uh, um, and, uh, and you have this uh, message that the angels declared here, uh, glory to God in the highest peace on earth, which was actually a critique of the empire uh, because glory uh, belongs to the Almighty and not to the mighty. And uh, the peace uh, that Jesus came to proclaim is not the peace, the Pax Romana, the peace that is based on subjugation uh, and military oppression, but on human dignity, equality, and justice. Uh, and this is actually what we call for. And I have to say, I find it uh, really a shame that, uh, that in this season, where uh, every church uh, hears these words, peace on earth, that the United States is vetoing even a ceasefire. It's a shame.